Conflicts between shifts. Conflict between shift occurs in all areas, from factories to hospitals. This discussion covers some of the most common complaints that are voiced by nursing staff. The other shift leaves work undone or the environment has not been left in an orderly manner. In this situation, the day shift nurse, who has more seniority, makes complaints to the night shift charge nurse. The night shift charge nurse responds with appropriate questions to gather more information so that they can make appropriate change. This interaction contains at least one statement that infers the day shift will, re will report the night shift to management. In some cases, this could be considered as bullying. The night shift nurse continues to gather information and encourages open communication in the future. Tim, we need to talk. Sure, we haven't talked much since I became the night charge. I am disappointed in how the night staff is functioning. I thought you'd be able to pull everyone together. I'm gonna need some more information if I'm gonna respond to this, Jan. What do you mean, pull them together? Oh, you know, the usual. IVs running behind, patients not up in time for breakfast, pain meds not being distributed or documented. What do you guys do at night anyway? Sit around the break room and order pizza? I do know one IV infiltrated. Was there more than one IV running behind? Not this morning, but there have been other IVs running behind on other mornings. None of us want this to happen again. If it happens again and the reason is not reported to you, please tell me. If I'm not here when you discover it, please email me with what pain medication is running behind. If this happens again and the reason is not reported to you, please tell me. If I'm not here when you discover it, please email me with what medication is running behind. Obviously, we cannot always catch people up, but this does give me the ability to determine what the exact problem is. Two patients were not given their pain meds during the night. Yeah, two patients told me they were not given their pain meds during the night. Did you check with the system to make sure that's true? We both know some patients don't remember when they last had their pain medication, even if it was 30 minutes before the end of the night shift. Yes, I did check. A patient was supposed to receive their pain meds at 0630. It looks like someone got lazy and thought the day shift would do it. I will make a point to remind all the night nurses that it is our responsibility to make sure that all pain meds are given. Perhaps we can work together to make sure that pain meds are on a schedule and that schedule makes sure that all pain meds are not given close to the beginning or the end of a shift. Do you really believe in scheduled pain meds? The literature I've read based on our patient population does support it. I intend to bring it up to professional practice counsel. Well, if they decide to go along with it, I won't get in your way, but I just think it's a lot of extra work. Maybe at first, but it does help our patients understand the correct way to take pain medication. It also prevents people from waiting too long to take pain medication and then needing longer to get their pain under control. Um, was anyone not up for breakfast? It was Mrs. Krause. I know she's 85 and nearly deaf, but that is not an excuse. I'm not looking to make excuses, but I do know she was up most of the night. I thought her nurse reported we would let her sleep an extra 30 minutes. This is not a hotel. Patients don't get to sleep in late. It affects their physical therapy schedule. We need them up, we need them to have breakfast, and we need them to be ready for physical therapy. I appreciate and understand that you make sure all your patients are on the standard care plan. I do think she will be able to be discharged today after PT. Well, I hope so, because we don't need our length of stay numbers going up because some people don't know how to follow the standard care plan. I appreciate your feedback. Is there anything else I need to know? Yes. It seems that your staff doesn't believe in making rounds before they check off to the next. Uh, can you give me some examples? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yes. Your staff doesn't take out the soiled linens and leaves them for the day shift to take care of. Do you even make rounds before you leave for the night? Yes, I do, Jan. A uh, couple nights ago, I found some linens that needed to be taken out. I contacted the tech, and it seems like it did not happen. I will make sure that all our staff know that we all work hard 24 hours a day, and it's not the responsibility of the day shift to pick up after us. I do think that... Being understaffed has taken a toll on us these past two weeks. Well, day shift has been short staffed too, but that doesn't mean that we can ignore the standard care plan. I'm not sure some of your young nurses understand that. Yes, we have some new graduates on the day shift, and they may not be as experienced as you, but they are trying hard to make sure that patient care is emphasized. I know they oriented on the day shift, and standard of care is also emphasized. 
I hope you're able to pull your team together, Tim. It's a terrible start to the day when the other shift doesn't do their job. And you know I'm inclined to report staff who are slacking off at work. Jan, I hope you will continue to talk to me if there's a problem with the night shift. I can't help with a problem if I don't know that it's there. And I can assure you, if there's a problem with an individual staff member, I will make sure that it is addressed. Have a good day, Tim. I hope we don't have to have this talk again in the near future. Number one, after listening to the conversation, would you consider that the day shift nurse is a bully? Number two, what should the night shift nurse do differently if they consider the day shift nurse a bully? Number three, what are the strengths of the night shift charge nurse's responses? Number four, how do you think the conflict between shifts can be prevented? 